Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out more of the Pacific. This is episode 5 from season 1, Pelulu Landing. Or Pelelu Landing. I don't know the pronunciation, but I recognize the word. So thoughts on the last episode, they're on the back half of there. Barcelona still stateside. I think Sledge was training mortar teams in California. Uh, Leaky got sick, spent a little time on base. Uh, the, just a lot of mud, a lot of water, a lot of mental stress and anguish on a lot of the people last episode. With Lecky being better and heading back towards his, his friends, uh, I imagine that because now we're on episode 5, after this, it'll just be, you know, 6 through 10, we'll be on the back half. And I'm pretty sure it'll be a complete escalation leading towards like Iwo Jima and stuff like that. We got Melbourne out of the way and we had the kind of medical episode last time, so I'm expecting just nothing but pain and misery from here on out till maybe the end of the episode. I don't know how far into the war, you know, they'll go. So, two and a half minutes of rambling later, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this is the Pacific Hey Lulu Landing Episode 5. Here we go. Fifty-four minutes, six seconds in length. We're gonna press play. What's wrong with me? March 1944. After four months of fierce jungle combat, the Marines of the 1st Division were withdrawn from Cape Gloucester. Oh. No, we ended up on an island called Pavuvu. 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 Part of the Solomon Island chain. It was the nastiest, dirtiest looking place under the sun. <laughs> All kinds of things just grew in profusion. Yeah, last episode they talked about rats and crabs. They've killed more crabs and rats than they have any Japanese that they would in the war. I think I cut it out, but... Pelelu. Only six miles long and two miles wide, Pelelu held an airstrip that was close to the Philippine Islands. The Pacific, Part 5. Pelelu Landing. Okay, okay! Scandalous calf! Hey, excuse me. I don't believe this. You're John Basil. I'm gonna be in the Marine Corps. I thought they were going after her like she was a fancy starlet or something. Thanks. What's next to you? I knew he wouldn't know it. <laughs> Alright, John. Just like just like dude said, uh selling bonds and nailing blondes, right? You handle it well. Handle what well? Membership in the famous People's Club. Oh, I thought she was gonna be like me. You're <laughs> handling me pretty well, or quite what you expect. You have no idea what's coming at you. No, I'll say that looks like Tessa's actress from The Last of Us because this this was like 12, 15 years before The Last of Us. Glad to even speak to you without saluting, Sergeant. Bassalone. If he's wearing the medal, you gotta salute. <laughs> Which he's not. Early morning, Sergeant Pazalon. He got his service stripe, showing that he's been in, what is it, three years? Four years? Two years? I forget. I don't know what it, what it was back then, either. I hope I don't freeze up or make a mistake at all. I hope I can be as... George. I don't feel like you need to prove nothing. You know what I mean? No, I don't... I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gotta be tough. Your brother's a fucking war hero, combat all-star and then you're just joining up there people are going to be you know, expecting things of him and he's gonna he expects it of himself i think looking for how company yeah you just you have to embrace the suck there is no way around the discomfort and the craziness of of, of this place what well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Across the buttstock, and then you, and then you come down with a forward slash, and then you, you do some stabs. <laughs> We're supposed to be in sixty mortars, second squad. Jesus, these guys are supposed to be sick. Rami Malek, he finally showed up. I knew he was in the show, but he hadn't popped out yet. That's snafu. <gasps> snafu. Okay. Now I'm Corporal Bergen. Find yourself a bunk. The obligatory treat Taken. treat the new guys like shit routine. There's Chow. Heads. 
King Company skipper, Captain Haldane. Everybody calls him Akak. -Ak. You know where I can find a How Company? First Marines? Somewhere over there. It just clicked with me. The guy named Lecky was the one who was leaky. I'm sorry. He may have been he looked familiar. I Maybe really he tell. was on glass. I don't know. He's ugly. Fuck you all. Looks like a land crab that once crawled up my pee hole. Oh. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's very wrong if you made it through boot camp. You fellas know each other? Is this some kind of conflict resolution? Old friend, sir. As you were. But try not to dislocate a shoulder or break an arm. Firm but reasonable. He doesn't want he doesn't want his Marines getting busted up, but it's like okay, this isn't a real squabble, we good. Seen him when we first got here. Wall to wall rats, crabs, rotten coconuts. <laughs> Thank god I'm rotating home. I can't believe it. I finally get here and you go home. A <laughs> free shower, everyone's just getting naked. <laughs> this guy. Hey, don't you quit on me, fucker! You gotta be kidding. Not till I've rinsed. Not till I've rinsed. Now. All right, Snafu. All right, Elliot. All right, Josh. All these names I know you as. All right, Freddie Mercury. No, you can't read. Fucking hell. Why don't you grab a brush? Give us a hand. Fuck that shit. I scrub drums for no man. <laughs> Let me take a break. Do whatever you want. This ain't my detail. Are those the most butt ugly creatures you ever saw before in your life? They're good with Old Bay, though. Just fucking. Jesus, Sid. You start pulling them out of your hooch in the morning. You won't feel so tender hearted. You'll be alright. Dear Christ in heaven, would you look at her? I don't know how to kiss her. I'll kiss you. Is that the guy from Lost? I, I know of the show. I've only seen an episode here or there. There we go. What are you waiting for, fucker? <laughs> <laughs> She's gone down there. You keep your fucking weapon pointed down range or I will shove that fucking piece up your sorry fucking ass. Now look at me, Lieutenant. Gunny's right. Gunny fucking schooling a lieutenant. That's right. Fucking butter bar. But yeah, how's the editing been with these episodes? Have I have I been too too talky, too 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 jokey? Good balance. I try to reference my knowledge and my experience in the military and my knowledge of film school to what I'm watching. There's another war. We invaded Europe. Landed last month in France. Oh, well, unless you got a brother over there, most guys don't give a shit. My brother landed in Italy. Well, I guess you get to give a shit. <laughs> Land crabs, rats, mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes a little tough to understand, I guess. But God created Japs too, right? Yeah, he he went he he went yeah, down to, kill me to them. <laughs> so the whole game is fixed by the will of Gramps on his throne. While we're down here for what? His entertainment? Can you ask him to sink a few Jap transports and have them all fall on their bayonets so I can get the fuck out of here and go home? I sure would appreciate it. It's like Mel Gibson and We Were Soldiers. Like they're praying to God before getting ready to leave for battle, and then he says, "And please." Please ignore the heathen you know, prayers of, of the Vietnamese enemy. Don't listen to their prayers. <laughs> mm, oh boy. <laughs> and get off that beach. And when you get to the tree line, remember to clear your weapons of sand. Run through the bullets in the mortar fire to get to where we're going is such a shitty strategy. And it's just such a wide scale loss of life. Just keep throwing meat at the target until we get through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. That makes me feel like they'll both survive the scene or the battle, and then uh, you know we'll see him casually smoking. <laughs> Those plates in front of the machine gunners, man. I wish it were bigger. <laughs> At least they're not wading through water and shore and tide. You know, they're they're going on to dry land, right? Woo! Moving 
move. Yeah, it's real, dude. You're here. You're, you're on the clock. I feel like they're trying to make this feel like one shot, but I saw an edit point. Another one. I mean, there's gotta be so many bodies on the beach that eventually the landing craft can't help but run people over, right? Either that or deploy before getting to shore. <laughs> Jesus, Lecky. <laughs> is he still is he still drunk? Like has he been sipping on the side? You're supposed to hook up with the rest of the battalion in the southern edge of the airfield. In the brush line. Got it. Damn. You guys got any water? No, oh, we ain't got any fucking water. <laughs> yeah, grenade in the hole, flamethrower in the pillbox, grenade in the tank hatch, like just shitty ways to go. Thompson. Point blank, that'll do it. Gorman! Gorman! Ah, it's the full moral. Fucking game over, nine times out of ten. That ain't shit. That ain't shit, except all your blood le leaking out. And your brain won't work. <laughs> you die. Bill, might, might just be passed out. Bill. Son of a bitch, does a jab tank. That thing's rolling quick too, you gotta like put a lead on it. Damn! <laughs> I just saw intestines and a leg flop off. Who's you got hit? Flies everywhere again, always the flies. Got enough ammo. Sure thing, Skipper. Password's Lilliputia. My man awake at all times. Lilliputia? What is that word? What? Lilliputia? Hard for the Japs to say? Hard for me to say. Shit, I forgot about that guy. Forgot about what guy? Is he cutting somebody up? Like, how come every character I see him as, he's a little unhinged? Does he just have like a pocket full of teeth, you know? Yeah, obviously I've never been in a situation like that, but my mindset is that guns, ammo, equipment, supplies is fair game. Gold, jewelry, pictures, personal effects. Like, you know, does does me no good in a combat zone. I only want what I need to survive. Yeah, this back half of the episode has been like one battle, one day of the landing and going into the jungle and this. And that's that, right? Damn. Alright. Another great episode. Let's get to the outro. Pacific Episode 5. While Basalone reluctantly plays the war hero at home, Sledge gets his first ace of combat on the island of Peleliu. Alright. Yeah, so Hoosier, our friend Cooper from Euro Trip, he got hit in the leg. They carted him off, they had pressure on the wound. I don't know if he's good or not, we didn't see him anymore. Hopefully we get word or a view of a body or something in the near future. Barcelona was back home, selling bonds, nailing blondes, living up to that expectation. Obviously the more experienced Marines have been battle hardened, but like, I feel like their first waves of violence and battle were smaller and then, and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's like, if you're coming into this fresh, like Sledge is just going straight into the disaster that, that was a beach landing under fire. I think the next episode has to do with Pelulu as well, so we're going to linger here a bit. But this is going to do it for me for now. This episode, like all of them, has been a blast. I look forward to more, and I'll be watching it soon enough. But it'll have to be another day because this does it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm looking forward to the next one and hope to see you then. Thanks again and goodbye.